Shalom, Ahab, Ba Baraka, first and foremost, Kahal Ayahawa, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rakwa Kadash, Rakwa Kadash, sorry, Slaka. Um, I just gotta get this. Let's get this. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this. Listen to this. This is U.S. military news, okay? Iran is in great trouble. Israel finally made a tough decision and taken and, and so on and so forth. But they say Iran's in great trouble. Let's listen. Morandi, a professor at Tehran University and the son of a doctor who served in the Iranian government, said his country's weekend attack was successful. Mar this is also a fair use video. Fair use. Okay, I'm not trying to get anything out of this. I just want to share the news. And he went on to say, Iran knew that these drones were going to be shot down anyway. But these were traps that allowed Israel and its allies in the genocide to use all their new technologies and unleash their capabilities. If Iran wanted to launch a major attack on the Israeli regime, the attack would be tenfold. Iran has many underground missile bases. They are preparing themselves. The Iranians are effectively preparing themselves for the next days. At the same time, Iran is hoping for Russian support after its major attack on Israel. The Iranian foreign ministry praised Russian foreign minister Sergei Lavrov the previous day. God, it noted a telephone Russia. conversation between Lavrov and his Iranian counterpart, in which Lavrov said Russia would defend Iran in the UN Security Council. According to the pro-Iranian media outlet, Tehran views Russia's comments positively. Positive. The report, the Russians said the Iranian attack was restrained. However, this view is questionable given that 350 missiles and drones were involved in the attack. However, both Russia and Iran are allies of the Syrian regime. Iran claimed the attack was in response to the airstrike in Damascus, which Tehran blamed on Israel. The report said that Russia had no doubt that Iran would respond to the Israeli attack on its consulate in Damascus. Now Iran has threatened further strikes, claiming that Iran's response will be stronger and more violent if the Zionist entity takes any further action against it. This response is designed to create a new deterrent against Israel in order to prevent further Israeli actions. Iran wants to rewrite the rules and the equation of the region and to do so in a way that will allow Iran to attack Israel directly in the future and avoid any direct response. Ah, uh, they blurred it out. See, they're blurring out the... Them get, this is Israel right here getting blown up. They're blurring it out. Oh, no. You can't see us get blurred out. Blur it out. Blur it out. Now Iran these says niggas. it is deterring Israel and wants Moscow's support in this deterrence. Iran's support for Hamas and Russia's failure to condemn the October 7th attack show how Iran is trying to bring Russia closer to Tehran's regional view. And there you have it. We're still going to go ahead and pause it right there. All right, let's bring it back real quick. We'll listen to a couple more minutes, and then we'll get some scriptures. Like Russia, Iran is trying to summarize its military aggression in legal terms. Iran claims that its response to the Zionist entity is a legal step under the United Nations Charter does anybody else notice that if Israel's getting bombed, they're literally blurring it out like that's going to stop us from seeing the light from behind the blur? That's how fucking prideful these motherfuckers are. They'll blur out their own destruction because they control the media. They control the narrative. This is the U.S. Army news. Let me show you some other news stations because Iran considers what they were doing a complete Success, okay? A complete success. And within the framework of international law, Russia also often uses international law and legal arguments to mask its operations, including the invasion of Ukraine. Iran and Russia are increasingly working in concert on the global stage. According to the report, another official... All right. That's enough of that. We're going to have to get some scriptures now because now what they're doing is starting to try and paint a picture of what they decide the uh, narrative should be. And we ain't playing that over here. So so I'm going to bring out just a very few scriptures. I, I, I was really wanting to bring out this other class, but um, 
every time the Most High says, no, do this. So let me get these couple scriptures and we're out. All right. All right, all right, all right. This is where we're going to go. We're, we're going to do this. This is how we're going to do it today. This is Jeremiah 30 and 10. And first, we're going to do it in the King James Version, but I might give it to you in the um, NLT also. So let's see what we got. Jeremiah 30 and 10. Therefore, fear not thou, O my servant, Yaakov, Yaakov, Jacob. Fear not, Jacob. Don't, don't be scared. Saith Yahweh. So... Therefore thou, so therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel. For lo, I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and shall be in rest and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. So the reason why I'm bringing this scripture to the table right now is because it's very important. It's very important. It says that when Jacob returns home, Jacob's going to be at rest. Does this look like the Israelites to you? It looks to me like the whole ass place is getting bombed. I see lights on the sky. It looks like they're getting bombed. There is no rest for these people because they're not the fucking real Israelites. All right, let's do it again. Let's, let's go. I, I want to get that NLT. So do not be afraid, Jacob, my servant. Do not be dismayed. Israel says the Lord, says Yahweh, for I will bring you home again from a distant land and your children will return from their exile. Israel will return to a life of peace and quiet and no one will terrorize them. Terrorize them. That's the NLT. No one will terrorize them. Look at who you got in our land right now. Hold on. Let's get some more scriptures. Let's, get, let's go to, um, I'm going to, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, Fucking be redundant right now. I'm going to be redundant and I'm just going to go in. Jeremiah 46, 27 and 28. But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel. For behold, I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease and none shall make him afraid. Fear not thou, Jacob. Verse 28. Fear not thou. Fear not. Fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant, saith the Lord, for I am with thee. You guys, hold it down. Stay strong. Hold on to something. Don't let the wind of worldliness blow you away. For I am with thee. Here, yeah, with nobody else. Look at their fighting. I am with thee, for I will make a full end of the nations. And he's gathering them together right now, isn't he? He's gathering together the nations right into the valley of Jehoshaphat. So let's get this. Let's keep going. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I want this shit to be over. I want this to be over with. Fear not thou, O Jacob, my servant, saith the Lord, for I am with thee. I will make a full end of all the nations, whether I have driven thee. But I will not make a full end of thee. But correct thee in measure, yet I will not leave thee wholly unpunished. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Just shout, shout. I mean, he's going to make an end to the nations where he has driven us. If you guys don't understand that, that's on you, not on me. That's on you, not on me. That's on you, not on me. You got that? Let's get it. That's on you now. You know why I keep saying that? That's on you, not on me. Why? Watch this. Let's get it. Let's get it. You've been told. You've been told. So, let, oh, where were we at? Where were we at? Um, hold on. I'm sorry. I have to go to a precept and um, Ezekiel. Chapter 33. I was about to not even call out the chapter and verse. I'll go down to verse. Um, 
4. So this is Ezekiel 33 and 4. When the when whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So the watchmen are out. We're giving out the warning. That's why I'm only talking to Israel right now. Stay strong. Hold on to something. Don't let the wind of the worldliness blow you away. I'm all here too. I'm struggling just like everybody else. I am struggling every day. Every day I wish this was over. Every day I wish this was done. But listen again. I will make a full end of all the nations where I have driven thee. They are going to be nothing they're going to be crisp and just, he's going to cook everybody. And the ones that he leaves behind are going to be slaves. So, uh, you know what? Like I said, I'm going to be redundant. I'm going to be redundant. Hosea 2 and 18. And in that day, I will make a covenant for them with the beast of the field. Oh, yeah, that's right. There was two types of people. There was the at the, 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 the descendants of Adam and the beast of the field. And the beast of the field and with the fowls of heaven and I and the creeping things of the ground and I will break the bow and the sword and the battle out of the earth and I will make them lie down safely. Sorry about that, Salakia. When I heard beast of the field, I'm still thinking of Isu and all of the other nations, but this is actually talking about the wild animals that he's also going to have be feeling comfortable, safety, rest. But Salakia for, but the, I, I will prove beast of the field is talking about you, you wicked um, other nations. You are the beast of the field. You are the wicked serpents. But, um, Sorry about that. Let me keep going. Redundancy is what we're doing today. Jeremiah 29 and 14. And I will be, and I will be found of you, saith Yahweh, and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all nations. And from the place whither I have driven you, saith the Lord, and I will bring you again to the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Woo! Get out of our land! You're not safe there! You know what? I'm going to read one more, and then um, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to shut it down. I, I, this is just, I, I wasn't even trying to do a class. I was trying to do a different class on something else, but Yahweh Baha Shimiel shot. I said, no! No! Well, how Rakwakadash is here right now, and you need to do this. The Holy Spirit is on me, so I have to do this. So Isaiah 43 and 5. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. Woo! He is coming soon to protect and save the real children of Israel. Right now, what you see is the demise of of the, 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 um, stolen identity. How's that? The demise of the Amalekites who stole our identity, who control media. Man, I got to get some more, um, news footage of showing what the other nations are saying. It's crazy. But, um, I got, I got one more verse for you guys. And then I'm going to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll it up. Um, um, let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. it. I know it's in a... Let me see if I can find it. Before I even open my mouth. There it is. Revelation 1 and 3. Yes, that's the one I'm looking for. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, Waha Rakakwadash, because it said, He said, 
and hear the words of prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. You know what? That's a really great verse just to get in the NLT for everybody. Let's get it for you guys. I, I, I mean, blessed is he that readeth. In other words, blessed are the ones, not because you read something, but because you comp because you comprehend it. I'm sorry, I'm getting real excited. I'm really angry. I'm mad. I'm happy. I'm all over the place right now because I am just irritated with this place. And just for the most, for to want to bring out a class and try to bring out a class. And the most high is like, no, you bring out this. So this is where I'm at right now. So the Wadawa Rakatai Hawa, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim, Rakwa Kadash. Let's get Revelation, Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3, NLT. This is going to be beautiful. You guys are going to love this. This is going to be beautiful. Are you ready? God bless the ones who's, who read the words of the prophecy to the church. And what is the church? It's to the people. And damn, go on to the highways and the hedges and preach to the wind. And... Sorry about that. And he blesses all who listen to its message and obey what it says, for the time is near. He's only talking about Israel. Now, these other books will try and make it vague. They'll try and push that, um, um, that Christian uh, narrative. But no, 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 not here, not today. You can look like any other nation, but your bloodline better be on Israel. And with that being said, if you got eyes to see and ears to hear, I can only pray to the Most High, Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahushai, Waharukwa Kadash, that you got something out of this message. And also, double honors to the elders, the apostles, the prophets, and the real teachers, the real disciples who are bringing out this 100% truth for the last 30 plus years. And to you, sincere Akyawa Akwa salutations. And if, Shalom.